they're serious about it at 100 miles. <laughs> it gets rid of your entire screen. Since I've had to drive the Ford, so, uh, this Dodge so much, with the Ford being kind of down, I've uh, been running low on DEF, and I always like running it down because I don't normally drive this that much and don't want DEF sitting around as much as possible. So we're going to run this thing out today. I'm going to pick up a jug at lunch and then have it ready for the drive home. And we're going to see what happens if it all of a sudden just goes to five miles an hour or what the hell it does. So that's the plan. Nice. So, as far as the DEF goes, he's my co-pilot. If you're ever looking for it, <clears throat> this has changed a little bit. The box is different than it has been. They're using a little more efficient packaging, not as much cardboard. But this number, I think, is the one to look at. Uh, that's your expiration date, which is the year 22, uh, which is one year from the date of manufacture. And then you got that 287, which is the inverse date. So if you subtract 362. 287 from 365 you get what 65 plus 13 78 so that was most this this was most likely packaged on the 78th day of 2021 <clears throat> so uh, sometime what mid-march ish and it's not a big deal i've run really crappy def before and it just uses a lot of it i've never thrown a code but you want to try to, if, if you don't use a lot of it, you want to try to buy the freshest you can. So look for the longest expiration dates you possibly can on this when you're buying from it. And try to buy from a place, at a minimum, that sells, um, you know, a lot of it. So I usually go to Walmart. And I've used the Supertech version, but a couple of times, and actually two or three times I've used the Supertech. And it just burns a lot faster than, or, or is used a lot quicker than this stuff. So there's obviously something in the system that measures the percentage of DEF or of urea in the DEF and will compensate by over, you know, it'll make sure it has the amount of urea based on how thin it is. And the SuperTech, for whatever reason, seems to always run quicker than this stuff. Uh, and so this is easier. It's not terribly expensive as far as that goes. And for what I use, this is just simple. And this will last forever for me. But I mean, if you run a lot, you know, get it where you can find it by the pump, and it might probably be even cheaper than this. But, yeah, so that's that's the date expiration code. Look for the latest date here that you possibly can. So that's what I'll have to say about that. Now we're going to fire this thing up, let it ding itself silly. drive about nine miles and head on back to the house so we can get here and see what happens in the interim close to home with my DEF in the passenger seat see what happens when we actually run out and this thing gets to the speed limited to five miles an hour so here we go I'm honestly surprised it didn't ding at 10 miles an hour, at 10 miles to go, because it's dinged at every 25 miles since I hit 100. So, whatever. I have no idea what the logic in this thing is. We're figuring it out as we go. We'll try it again at 5. I guess after 25 miles left, it just gives up, says, ah, eh, you're on your own. <laughs> we'll see if it dings any, at any other place. Ugh. 
this side of the road is traveled by the loaded log trucks versus the other side, which is traveled by the empty log trucks. Let's see what happens. Jeez. Not this road. Oh, pilot is still ready. <laughs> In case it actually does it. So, we've hit zero. I ain't doing five mile an hour. And right now, let's see, we're at 43.5. I'm gonna get this thing home, and if anything changes, we'll tell you. But then we're gonna do a few little experiments. But I think I know what's gonna happen. My guess, is that until you put this thing in either park or shut it off, it's still gonna let you keep driving. But my bet is that once you park this thing and shut it off and try to start it again, you're not gonna be going very fast. So that's what we're gonna test. Actually, we're gonna get back to a school parking lot. Oh, there it goes. On restart, long idle or refuel. Uh-huh. So if you restart it, or let it idle for a while, <laughs> or refuel it, you are not going to be going any faster. It finally dinged. There she goes. So that explains it. So we're going to get this thing home, test the five mile an hour thing. We're going to shut it off, restart it, and see what it does. And then we're going to refill the def. And I'm going to try to refill the def without shutting it off to see if it automatically just resets itself or if you need another restart to clear it. That's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to get this thing home right now. And it just dinged again. Now it's dinging every couple of miles. So it really wants to get your attention if you haven't noticed this for the last 200 miles and then for the last 100 miles that this message has been the only thing you see in your dash. It's really tired trying to get your attention to keep the feds happy. So we're gonna keep going and get this home and see what happens. All right, so we basically made it home. The dinging is getting more frequent. Now we're down to about, the last time it dinged, it was three quarters of a mile from the first, from the time before. So at some point, it may go continuous. <laughs> I don't think I wanna find that out. But we're going to come down here and turn it around and see what we got. Because right now we're doing 10. It's been fine. Or lean running forward. So, put it in park. That won't just do it. So there's a time limit. Oh, ding. shut it off. Open the door. Yeah, I know the key.
Let's see what she says before I start it. I hate that thing. Okay. So. Let's see. Okay. It won't even stop me from doing over five mile an hour in reverse. Speed too high. <laughs> yeah. If if I ding, you're gonna already hit it. That's interesting, so it, maybe it's time based. I'm gonna shut it off, go inside for a sec for a minute, pull the key, and we'll be back. And we're back. I don't know, maybe three or four minutes. See what she says. All the dings. That's interesting. <clears throat> the DEF thing is not in place. I swear that was there before, before you started it. There it is. Five mile an hour max speed. You are now hosed. Let's see if they're not kidding. Nope, <laughs> they're not kidding. <laughs> That's it. Let's see if it let me go more than five miles an hour in reverse. Nope. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> now we have angered it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to park it. I'm going to hop out. Grab my co-pilot. Come on. Find a spot where we can put the funnel on or the nozzle easily. and easy. This probably isn't great because I got the sun in the background, but oh well. Stick this on. All right, now let's scoot over here. DEF, don't put it in the tank. Easiest way I've found to do this, just stick that hose down in there and flip it right upside down because it'll breathe. There she goes. And if you let it breathe completely upside down, it usually won't drip. Now, what we're going to see here is right now it's still restricted to five miles an hour. We're going to see if it has to be turned off once it's got a three quarter tank of death in it. Or half a tank anyway. My guess is there was still some and it hadn't flogged the emissions rules. They just do this to force you to do it before it actually runs out. All right, no runs. 
runs, no drips, no errors. Put that back in there. Okay, now we've done nothing. It's been running the whole time. You can see we have just under three quarters indicated. Let's see what we got. That's all there is to it. She's back. No foul, no codes. So, running out of DEF isn't too scary. Oh yeah, I got the tailgate down. <clears throat> but, you don't want to park it until you get somewhere where you can get your DEF. Because otherwise, she's not going to go after a few minutes of being shut off. So, well, this is my little experiment for the day. And everything's good. So, <laughs> hope you all are having a good day. If you got yourself a, certainly a Dodge or a Ram diesel, this is, seems to be how it acts when you try to run it out of DEF. Just don't shut it off until you can get some. Otherwise, if you shut it off and park it and you're a ways away, it's going to be slow going to get there. Y'all take care.